more drones are on the way, but Iran has promised to provide Russia with surface-to-surface -surface missiles as well, two senior Iranian officials and two Iranian diplomats told Reuters. Iran's first vice president Mohammad Makhbar, two senior officials from Iran's powerful Revolutionary Guards, and an official from the Supreme National Security Council, visited Moscow on October 6 to strike the deal, Reuters reports. The Russians had asked for more drones and those Iranian ballistic missiles with improved accuracy, particularly the Fatah and Salfagar missiles family, one of the Iranian diplomats told the Newswire, which was briefed about the trip. Part of the deal was for Tehran to supply more Shad 136 drones. The Fatah 110 and Salfagar are much more powerful short-range surface-to-surface ballistic missiles, capable of striking targets at distances of between 300 km and 700 km. The diplomat denied that the sale of the weapons to Russia breached sanctions imposed on Iran by UN Resolution 2231 in 2015. Where they are being used is not the seller's issue. We do not take sides in the Ukraine crisis like the West. We want an end to the crisis through diplomatic means, the Iranian diplomat said, adding the missiles will be shipped very soon. The new Iranian short-range missiles could be a game-changer for Russia, which is believed to have used up half of its stock of sophisticated missiles, and is reluctant to use any more, keeping the rest as a strategic reserve, in case a war breaks out with NATO, writes Tyler Rogoway, editor-in-chief of the war zone. Iranian ballistic missiles work, they carry a much larger payload than the Shah drones, and hit way harder than the land-attack cruise missiles. Russia is low on Iskander MSRBMs, so they are not the threat they were, and they need to keep a good reserve of them for strategic purposes, beyond the war in Ukraine Rogoway said in a thread. So, if, really when, the Iranian ballistic missiles arrive, they will likely be turned on electricity infrastructure to absolutely devastating results. These are big targets well within the missile's accuracy envelope. If the Iranian missiles arrive, then Ukraine's air defense capabilities will have to be upgraded again, with the US-made Patriot missiles as the most effective countering system. However, these are very sophisticated missiles, and will require a lot of training before Ukraine's military can operate them. America's top brass has floated the idea of supplying Patriot missiles, but no decision has been made yet. The potential arrival of Iranian ballistic missiles has also pushed Israel off the fence, and it has promised to help and supply Ukraine. As Israel is subject to frequent rocket attacks, it has developed the Iron Dome anti-missile defense system, one of the most advanced systems of its kind in the world, that it may supply to Ukraine. Israel has developed this capability out of necessity, it exceeds anything the US can offer. They know the long-range suicide drone war is the next combat frontier for them, and they are and have been actively developing sensors, including airborne lookdown sensors, critical. To defend against hordes of low and slow-flying small signature drones. This is exactly the early warning and track data Ukraine needs badly says Rogoway. Meanwhile Iran claimed to have developed a hypersonic supermissile, capable of penetrating any country's defense systems. All these announcements increase the attention, increase the concerns, increase the public attention to the Iranian nuclear program, said Rafael Grassi, head of the International Atomic Energy Agency. Hypersonic missiles can deliver nuclear weapons in the same way as traditional ballistic missiles, but they can fly at more than five times the speed of sound, and are highly maneuverable, making them impossible to track and defend against.
Unlike ballistic missiles, hypersonic missiles fly on a low trajectory in the atmosphere and are able to reach targets more quickly. Iran's new hypersonic missile was developed to counter air defense shields gen. Amr Ali Hajizadeh, commander of the aerospace unit of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, said on Thursday. It will be able to breach all the systems of anti-missile defense. It would be decades before a system capable of intercepting it was developed, Hajizadeh said. Many weapons analysts believe the general's assessment is correct. Several countries have developed systems designed to defend against cruise and ballistic missiles, but the ability to track and take down a hypersonic missile remains elusive. Iran's claim to have developed such a missile raises the question of where Tehran obtained the technology. North Korea's test of a hypersonic missile last year sparked concerns about the race to acquire the technology, which is currently led by Russia, followed by China and the US.